Hi folks, this is Jamie from Randomised User, back with more of the best games from the Ludum Dari 42 Game Jam, all on the theme of running out of space. We start with Last Piece. Here we go. We're flying through space and our l land is disintegrating and we have to meet up with our, I think it's our, the, the mainland or the mothership or something. So our, it's basically a resource game. So we have to start generating new stuff. We've got ways of generating both power and metal and also warehouses to increase the maximum. And, and all the things that you add to the, the thing are like costed below. So you need a lot of metal and a little bit of power. So it does seem to me that the best way is to produce a lot of metal. And make sure that there's plenty of warehouses for that. So, I mean, what we really need to do is make sure that we replace the tiles every time they disintegrate. Because that's going to happen quite a lot. Oh, well, bloody hell, that's quite a, that's a bit of a close-up. And unfortunately, the tiles cost the most. Uh, it costs 600 metal. So what you really need to do, I guess, is produce loads and loads of metal. Uh, the power is not so important because that's only a small price. Although, I think power has something to do with... Um, the progress of the game, but I haven't actually um, discerned that just yet because most of the time it's just a bit of panic um, building, really. But it is, I love the aesthetic of this, um, especially if you get really close up. I mean, look at that, isn't that beautiful? Just really nice. Uh, and just like, it just gives a really sort of like um, decaying, sort of industrial, apocalyptic feel to it. And there's also things just flapping about the place, flying past the camera, which I really do love. Hang on, I've got to get a move on because, um, unfortunately, if you, as things keep on producing, uh, there is a maximum, so if you just stand there and do nothing whatsoever at the maximums, you really are wasting your time. I've actually got enough to... There we go. I think it just lagged a bit there. I've actually got enough to actually add, start adding to the squares. You can upgrade tiles as well to make them stronger. Um, in fact, let's um, put in another tile there. It does seem, um, as I've been playing that, um, you really do need to focus on metal and not give a toss about the power generation. Here's some more power, and here's a power warehouse. But... Whatever. Let's just concentrate on metal. Because really, I mean, you've got power enough for days, really. Even though we're only generating five a turn, we don't really need to spend it that often. It really is metal that we need to worry about. So obviously, if the um, the block randomly underneath one of these things disappears, that's it. You're, you've lost that particular building. And I think the, mi the middle building is the most important thing. If that goes, well, you're gone. You're lost. So just replace that. So really, just waiting for the tiles to... to um, become unlocked and then I can replace something, but I keep on bunging in new metal ones, so look, we've got plus 80 per tick now, per turn or whatever, um, which is really getting things going. Oh, close up. There we go. Not really hu in huge danger. Oh, now I'm in huge danger. Land! Blimey, that was a big one. I think I'm actually starting to get comfortable now because I'm producing enough metal. I don't even really need to do any upgrades, I just need to carry, like, keep on keeping on, really, and I'll be there in no time. Okay, about half an hour. Half an hour? This is Running Out of Spice. This is a game where you have to collect the spices to keep your spice bar topped up at the top, but you mustn't collect too much, otherwise you'll go too fast and crash into the asteroids. Every time you crash into the asteroids, yes, of course, you do lose spiciness. This is a very spicy game. All right, let's speed up a little bit, get the little blue barrels, and start shooting asteroids as we need to. Uh, immediately, this game makes me think, well, reminds me ever so slightly of Jeff Minter style games. Um, him of, like, Lamatron and all that sort of stuff. Um, and also Tempest 4000. Yes, all those. Oh, God, there's a, that's a prick. Yeah, they start, it does start to introduce other things as well. Oh! Okay, I'm not very spicy at the moment. Quick! Get the get the thing. Oh! Yeah, I got very slow there. Uh, spoiler alert, game over. God damn it. I particularly like every time you collect a, a bit of spice, it does give you a little bit of funny thing to say at the bottom, a little cap, funny little caption. Although when you're actually tootling about the place like I am at the moment, you don't really get much time to read it. <laughs> but it is rather, all rather jolly. And also there's occasionally like um, special explosive um, orange glowy, th oh, what are the green glowy things? I can't remember. There's a glowy one which does special cool stuff. It basically makes everything explode. God damn it. I'm actually not shooting much at all. Also, they've, they've mapped it to the space bar, which is a pain in the dick, um, but never mind. Right, shoot. Right, more spice. Oh god, there's actually loads more of the um, the horrible spiny little pricks now, which ain't great for anybody. My spiciness is going down. I'm not actually going too... Oh, oh come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah. Uh, this, is a, this is actually a really lovely, uh, really lovely idea for a game. Just like, it's very basic. It's very like a very, like, throwback to the old game. But I just love the, um, 
I love the topping up quality, the speeding up, slowing down type stuff, which really does provide a little bit of a balance to the risk reward type stuff. Although it is so ma so manic that, to be honest, most of the time you're not thinking about that. You just try to collect as many things as you bloody well can. Oh, oh god, okay, everything's fine now. I haven't seen any more of those special ones since I started yapping about it. Uh, careful. Oh, there's actually quite a... Oh, there was quite a little pattern to actually get through there. So that's... I can't shoot anymore. Could I ever shoot? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I could. Quick. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, I was still moving. <laughs> oh, I only got 8,000, 9,000 points. That's not great. Well, hang on a second. It says something different at the top and the bottom. Make your mind up, game. This is Sea of Bells. I'm really happy to be recording this one. This one's frankly astonishing. <laughs> it's really funny. Um, we'll see how it goes. I don't want to spoil too much because I've just I've been playing through this and it's it is something. It's really something. Um, you start off with a little bit of tutorial action. You're a little ship. Um, I'm in the middle there. Look, here I am. And there's there's some fish. And there's a really big prick coming towards me. I'm gonna run away from that. <laughs> Keep it away. Go away. Piss off, mate. Oh, got to kill bells. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> now the game is totally changed. We're now a boat. Um, well, we're still a boat, but now we're in completely different um, movements. And we're flapping up the screen, avoiding possibly the floating tree things? Not quite sure. I think this may be like a top-down view now. So we're just going to keep on going up. Um, hit the mighty old bell. Dong. Um, back we go. Back down to wherever the hell we came from. Okay, avoid them. Actually, I'm not quite sure if you touch them and die or not, to be honest, but that's the sea for you. And the, the romantic, terrifying sea. Um, oh, splosh. Okay, now we're back down into this mode. Uh, everything is totally fine. What could... Oh, no, it's you again. Uh, I've seen loads of different sorts of creatures arise from the depths. Uh, this is one of them. There's also a weird kind of snake thing. I think I actually basically have to stop it getting up. That's why... I oh, no. I think I might have got shot. <laughs> Right, get you. Get the bell. Get the bell! It's the space witch! Lads, it's the witch! The space witch is here. Right, where is it? The space witch will... There she is! Or oh, he! Uh, for some reason, riding a trident... Oh, it's not a trident, it's a broomstick. <laughs> I forgot witch's lore. I forgot the end of the road on broomsticks. Also, that's a, that's a nice hat. Very nice witch's hat. Now we're the space witch. To help with the boat, we're the witch! I've got to avoid the, um, the encroaching bastardliness from the, the... Oh! You made it. Oh, good. That's some... Um... Oh, no, I haven't actually made it. <laughs> You've just got to push the blocks. Okay. Oh, God, what's on the left? Plus one space. Space! Right, here we go. Let's move. Ah! Mate! 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 This is the witch telling you to piss off. Bloody black cloud of... Oh, I'm back in the boat. Lads, I'm back in the boat. Oh, what's this? Oh, no, this, this isn't you. Now it's turned into Tetris? Well, some, I don't know, I'm just going to start shooting things. What are you doing to my poor ocean? This isn't slightly different every time you play it. It's really quite remarkable. Anyway, get the bells. Bell get. Actually, can't get these bells. These, are, these, these bells are not... Oh, there we go. That's more like it. Right. We are back here. And we're going up the... Oh! dicks. So things things have changed in my last playthrough and the screen just started to capsize and go mad. <laughs> so this is the sort of thing I'd actually like to see in Ludum Dare. Oh here we go, there's a tilting stuff. Because it's totally wrong foot you, but there's still a fun little game in here. But you never quite know what's going on <laughs> uh, as the entire game falls over. This is Right Space. This is a typing puzzle game. Um, you'll soon see. It's hard to explain. So let's actually get typing. Um, so there's a bit of a plot at the top. Um, the last thing I remember is um, something over there. But then, yeah, you're in a haunted house and you get turned into a typewriter. Just going to speed on. And so we're now shooting through this and we're now getting stuck in a little maze at the bottom there. So what's going to happen? Now we're suddenly we're going to be just left to our own devices and we're going to work out what the hell we're doing. It doesn't make things explicit, but what you have to do is start typing and, I don't know, do a verb. And then you realise if you keep on getting typing, if you keep on typing, you get you walk into a wall. Uh, but it does sort of indicate that you do need to start typing um, left, right, up, down. So that's what we're going to do. So now we're actually going down, uh, and so on. Really, um, you've just got to 
plan ahead though because you only start changing direction once you've actually typed in the full word. So da 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 da, da up, and then presumably L E. Oh nope, spelled that wrong. Left and success. Well, <laughs> we got to the exit. Uh, art style, absolutely beautiful. The music has got a brilliant haunted house mood to this as well, and it's just just a clever little idea. Oh, very ASCII actually, very DOS. Right, so this time, okay, um, bum, 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 up. Du -du 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 -du. We have to go, have to go right, aren't we? So R I G H, got it. Now we need to go down. Oh, daub. I'm having to do this around my um, <laughs> microphone arm. It's most vexing. Down. Oh no. Oh, hang on. We have to. Okay, we have to do a bit of a wider circle here. I think. Then left, then down, tits. No, <laughs> it's very, very tempting to write horrible, naughty words like po. Right, this time. Oh god, I've got to get to the top right. Okay, so lads, down. Okay, we better not do that. We we'll have to start early. So down. We have to do a bit of a loop here, aren't we? In fact, we might have to go a bit more ponderously. We've got to really plan ahead with this. Doop, 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 doop. Up. Left. Dead. Oh, no. I was <laughs> premature typulation there. Uh, right. Oh, no, 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 no. And um, horses are cool. Dot com. No. <laughs> Up. Done it! And now we have a crow. Or is it a raven? Or is it a rook? Or is that a starling? It's a starling. Bloody starlings. Oh yeah, we're playing a game. This is Legacy. This is a platformer with some very clever mechanisms, partially based around running out of space inevitably. And the big one is that your inventory at the bottom is also your health bar. So the more you get hit, the smaller your inventory becomes. And you have to collect a lot of valuable items all over the place. You also have a nice little teleportation. Oh, and baby shoes. For sale, baby shoes never worn. Of course, Hemingway. Right, and also you've got, a, you've got yourselves a little um, teleport beacon thing where you can send it out and then send yourself over. And there's a lot of hidden walls as well, because why not? So there's a bit of tutorial action right at the start. Um, but let's not worry about that. Oh, hello. <laughs> Here we go. So I can probably find a hidden thing. Yep, there we go. You might occasionally find um, bags to open your inventory a bit more. So it's just tutorializing me about the, um, the t teleporter already. Got myself an invent um, a dictionary in my inventory, and an extra bag bit of bag space. You can actually read the descriptions when you're um, when in your inventory, and some of them have got some quite funny little details as well. Anyway, let's actually, um, first of all, we need to go over here, send out our teleporter thing. Ballot paper! Was used in the recent Neptune Gubber Nash... Gub <laughs> One of those things. Right, hang on. Now we need to do a little... Huh! Oh, bugger. <laughs> Did not... Oh, there we go! Uh, yeah, you can jump after teleporting, which is handy. Winning lottery tickets. Avoid the spikes. Those um, little thorny things are actually spikes, and we'll... In fact, I'll show you. Watch my inventory bottom right. Donk. And I've lost a inventory heart, which ain't great. You can just teleport over that. Get the globe! Six years old. Apparently, um, I'm supposed to be aiming for particular items. I think there are a red button, a passy, and a frozen embryo, apparently. Can I go through there? Yes, I can. Extra bag. So, presumably, I have to collect certain things. There's little puzzles here and there. Oh! Actually, that was a... Yeah, I didn't know that was there, but I'm glad to see I actually... Oh, hang on, let's get the necklace over there. That looks valuable. Ah, uh, hang on. There we go. Oh, it's piss. Piss! Let's go over here. Oh! There we go. Bounce. Oh, that's a bit of a nasty bouncer. Look at that. It's surrounded by spikes. Oh! Unfortunately, I still had a teleporter thing still out, so I teleported ran well, not randomly, back to where I was. It's very easy to do that. Teddy bear and a Fabergé egg. Ooh! Ah, yes, here we go. Doing, doing, teleport. And, no, that <laughs> buggered that one up. Hang on, let's try that again. Uh, I can get a bit of extra height, but I think I might actually need to do a, um... Oh, got him. Hang on. 
a wall, well, a jump for my teleport. There we go. Now I need to, um... There. Bouncy, bouncy. Presumably there's going to be something. It, there's always something in the wall. Hang on. Oh, there we go. Yes, there we go. Extra backspace. I'm actually doing very well for backspace. Uh, hang on. I can't get through. Oh, there's a thing at the bottom, look. I have to stand on... Only when I'm standing on that can I get through there. How the hell do I do that, then? Ah, here's an idea. Here's what we'll do. Go over here, send it out, and then chase it. Yes! Weather forecast five days old. A seven-day weather forecast. Oh, we'll know what today's and tomorrow's is then, okay. And a newspaper clipping. A Half-Life 3 announcement? Whatever that is. <laughs> All right. Excellent. Oh, hang on. Let's get rid of you. There we go. And then I can just part myself out of there. I actually solved a puzzle! I'm not totally thick after all. Yay! Uh, and so on, really. It's quite a large map and quite a lot of fun, too. And it keeps on introducing new stuff like these um, poofy little conveyor belt type things. Yeah, I. Uh, once again, in a lot of the, like a lot of the choices I've been making in these um, videos, it's the art style that I particularly like, as well as the actual mechanics and the theme. Uh, the mood's lovely, and it, it's just really charming. Okay, that's it for this video. Check out the playlist for more coverage. If you want to play the games, join my Discord, or support me on Patreon, all the links are in the description.